Hey ladies, so I'm doing a little update video. Um, today I had my IUI number two done and um, everything went pretty great. Um, this one actually hurt just a little, little bit, just like a wee bit, but it wasn't really that bad. Um, but this time I asked them um, what his count was because I was just curious. I wanted to know what it was because last time when I did my IUI it had been like 30 hours from the last time that you know he came or anything and I was concerned about his count last month well this time I ended up ovulating a day earlier so I was concerned that he wasn't gonna have like good modal sperm I figured you know it had been four days and I figured I, I heard after 72 hours they become a modal and you know it has a great count but the motility is the most important thing so I was naturally concerned about that but um when I got to my doctor he said the report was really really good his count was 46 million I think so they said that was really good motility was really good and yeah so this lady is inseminated it was a really short trip our doctor is an hour away so we um we went to the doctor came back home I took a nap um because we have to get up really early in the morning to be down there so I took a nap kind of just let myself relax and kicking myself in the butt for this one um, I went outside because I noticed my pot on my concrete bench had fallen off so I go outside and I pick it up and you know put it back and then I walk back inside I was cooking some popcorn so I got my popcorn out and I'm walking back to the couch and I feel like this biting slash really sharp pain like behind my armpit and I was like, oh my god. I immediately thought it was a spider. Like, I just do not like spiders. And so I started screaming and I like ran and jumped and like put my back on the couch. And I kind of like was trying to squish it. And then I looked back and it was a wasp. Yeah, I got stung by a wasp. And let me tell you, that sucker hurts. Like, it is nasty looking. It's like this little bubble where it stung me. Like, where the hole was. It's like this little bubble on it. And I've got like four scratch marks looks like somebody went like right on my back I don't know what that's from because I didn't touch it or anything like I immediately ran to the bathroom took my shirt up and looked and I was like oh my god it hurts so bad like I haven't been stung since I was like seven it was like really painful <laughs> so yeah I was freaking out I'm like oh my god I hope this is not going to affect my body from getting pregnant not because I got stung, but because of my reaction, you know, like, the, the quick stress, like, scared moment, just, it hurt, and it freaked me out, and I thought I was getting bit by a spider, so yeah, that was not really a good part of my day, but aside from that, it was a pretty good day, and yeah, I will be testing... 28th I believe I think that's day 30 for me so either I'm gonna start my period that day or I will have a positive test or maybe not even a positive test if I don't start you know I think they um, either make me wait a week or they'll take me in for a blood test and do a blood test and check and go from there but either I'll and, and if I'm gonna start I'm gonna start like exactly on that day like it's just so this time well last time last month my luteal phase was 14 days and I ovulated on cycle day 17 this time I ovulated cycle day 16 and so I'm expecting my luteal phase to be like 15 days so it's gonna be a long two weeks for me but I'm just not even going to think about it because thinking about it is just going to make me go crazy. And um, like I told you guys, I'm stopping the temperatures once I get my confirmation on Fertility Friend, once I get the little red cross um, 
that's when I'll stop doing my temperatures because I feel like around 6 TPO, like it's gonna, my temperatures either rise or drop and I'll be like, oh my god, I'm not pregnant if I see it drop down real low or something and yeah, I just don't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna wait till the day and I'm supposed to start. So yeah, that's it for my little update and I will try to do another video sometime soon. I mean, I have nothing to really update for two weeks, but I'll try to find some tag videos or something and um, I'll do something. I'll make a random video of me dancing or something. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you ladies later.